What's up, y'all? Welcome to Big Black Guy Reviews. I'm a big black guy. And I'm just Big T. Yep, it's my nigga T right there. Hold up, bitches. That's right. We say the N-word on Big Black Guy Reviews. We Fuck do, you, We do that. Up. We do that. Fuck you, fucking real America. <laughs> well, we got bigger issues, America. Yes, we do. Like this Batman crap. Like, I'm in joke, but there are some serious things going down in this world. You wouldn't believe. So, I'm sure a lot of y'all heard the news. And for those of you who haven't... Ben fucking Affleck! Affleck is officially cast as Batman in the upcoming Man of Steel 2, possibly Batman Superman crossover. If I could throw up on cue right now, the bar would start. I'm, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Apparently, Christopher Nolan's Batman universe is done. It ends with the trilogy, that Dark Knight Rises, that was it. That's all we were getting out of Christopher Nolan's world. You know, that's why Christian Bale isn't going to be Batman again. That's why he turned down $50 million, allegedly. Basically, what they're doing with the Man of Steel is they're making it a different universe. Fresh take. Like, this, like honestly, let's face it. The Dark Knight trilogy, it was basically just a crime, like, a crime thriller with, you know. No, oh, no, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, it was a fucking crime movie. In other words, like, real superhero, like, just situations do not fit into that world in general. Not at all. So in order to really take things to a, just a different level, just, you know, more dramatic in general, you really have to step into a whole other world. Exactly. Even just from the villain standpoint, they always felt like they could happen in this real world. And here we go. Not yet. So they said, "All right, we're done with that. We're gonna move on. We're gonna make a. We're gonna make create a Batman that will fit into the Man of Steel universe, where superpowers are possible, so we can work our way into Justice League film in 2015." In other words, shit's getting freaky. Yeah. <laughs> crossover time. Cro crossover time. So with that, Man of Steel 2 has turned into a Batman Superman crossover, and the question has been. Who's going to be Batman? Some of the people they were looking at to play the role were like, you know, Carl Urban, who would have made a great fucking Batman in his own way, uh, my opinion. Ryan Gosling, I'm sorry. Young Hercules, fine. Batman, stay the fuck away. Yeah, yeah, no, no, let's not even bring them up again. <laughs> it's, it's the notebook, I'm sorry. You just, you no, no, nobody got no fucking notebook. Yeah, and there's just certain characteristics that truly go into a Batman. First of all, let's talk about the fucking hair. You need a full hair hair. This is a rich man. A man that has no fucking problems. So he should have all his goddamn hair. Pair, thick ass black hair. You this get family that? owns Rogaine. They own Rogaine. They got tubs of the shit in the basement. They don't use for nothing. That man snorts Rogaine. Why do you think he stay up so late? <laughs> That's just a joke. And another thing about it is the chin. You need a thick ass chin to be Batman. Like, when has anybody ever had a weak ass chin? Other than Christian Bell. Sorry, yeah. America, but I don't know what the fuck y'all were thinking with that shit either. Acting-wise, he had it covered. Other than that, other I than agree. the voice, I agree. The chin was get on that voice. The voice was fucked up. <laughs> and you should have smooth Batman. Batman voice. never looked so extra sharp. Oh my God, no, <laughs> Jesus. Ah, supposed to be big rugged motherfucker. Just look at the Frank Miller comics. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's how Batman's supposed to be. That, that but uh, which brings us to one of the the, the options that had popped up that I thought was. The best like, candidate, maybe? Yeah, the best candidate, in my opinion. Josh Brolin. Look at that motherfucker. Look at that fucking hair. Now look at him in this Batman outfit. And look at that fucking chin. Chin, hair. Chin, hair. Batman. Think about that. Yes. That's all it requires to be all Batman. But look no, seriously, look at that fucking bat suit on him. Like, that's, how can you tell me that is not Batman? It's a perfect Batman. fit. Look at that damn face. Like, yeah, no, seriously, like, look at him in that bat suit, man. Like, he's... That is fucking Bruce Wayne in Bat, that Batman, right there. Why? Why are you doing this? Yeah, they were talking about going for an older Batman anyway. And that's you a know? pretty good look. And I, I think that's a great idea. We've had plenty of young Batman. Shit, the last Batman was young Batman. You know, older Batman. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Cool. And Josh Brolin, great fucking choice for that category. And I'm just saying, quite frankly, it's been a long time since there's really been anybody uh, just good in the suit. My personal opinion. Michael Keaton did a damn good job, but oh, then yeah. again, that was just a better handled movie, you know. But that's just me. But fuck y'all at the same time. <laughs> Think about that. Yeah, this is all his stuff, by the way. This is even his shirt. 
You know, so I'm a bad fanatic. I know things are like, I, I came over and I was like, damn, I didn't even fucking, I don't even have a Batman shirt. And, you know, that's the thing. I love Batman enough to ask another nigga to wear his Batman shirt because we doing a motherfucking Batman and review. I got my niggas <laughs> Batman. The whole point of this review, the choice they have apparently gone with, it is official, it is an IMDB, it is just everything but Wikipedia. Wikipedia hasn't caught wind yet, you know, but it's Wikipedia, so what do you expect? Ben Affleck. Ben fucking Affleck! I'm sorry. Why? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he can't act. He can overact. I'm just saying his ass has no business being in the bat suit. I'm saying look at his hair. Look at the other candidate's hair. Really? Look at that fucking face. That's not Batman. God, it's not Batman. I'm not going to sit here and say I've seen all of Ben Affleck's movies. I'm saying I've seen enough of Ben Affleck's movies. I saw Armageddon. And Armageddon was enough for me to know that that's not Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan either. But Affleck was the bomb in Phantoms. Word, bitch. Phantoms like a mall fucker. What's up now? Uh, all right. To know that no matter how threatening he tries to get, his balls have not dropped enough for that voice to get some fucking bass in it. And I don't want a light, wispy, lispy fucking bad man. No. Better sound like you're a smoker. That shit better be Clint Eastwood all the fucking way. Son of a bitch. I'm the hero that got some deserves. You know something? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Ben Affleck, I've never, I've never heard him pull off an intimidating voice that ever said anything Batman related to me. Go. <laughs> Basta. What? <laughs> Is that Italian? Yeah. You're as bad as I am. <laughs> well, the thing is that, um... Jersey. Yeah. Uh, Irish? Uh, pirate. Uh, yeah. A pirate. A yeah. pirate. One thing I can tell you, if I will tell you something, I'll Southern. Yes. We are just going to bite your neck. Vampire. Not dissimilar. Uh, we must make strategic arms relations uh, with the United States. Yes, we must be here and send people speak the same and send speak the same. And that's not to say he shouldn't be a superhero. I actually like Daredevil. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit it. That's just him. I'm not a part of that. Yeah, you know. It was a cute movie, though. Yeah, we're still, we're still, we're still friends, even though we have that difference between us. So what's wrong with the rest of you, world? Well, I will admit, I have high hopes that maybe, just maybe, if we pray, Ben Affleck can do it. But again, I still have high hopes that maybe this movie will work out. I mean, either damn way, it's about to be a Superman, Batman movie. I can't bitch about that under any circumstances. But truthfully, I really do hope that the people who are behind this movie are really doing more than just uh, taking a few good ideas that they know are popular amongst like comic book fans and really like dive into the essence of comics themselves, understand what Batman is, understand what Superman is, and beyond that, understand who Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne are as like people. Like these, these characters themselves have a lot of depth in them that really has not been portrayed on screen, like not the right way at least in my opinion. So hopefully, you know, hell, you directors can figure that shit out. I don't know. I don't trust you though. That's right, you can't trust the system. Man! Fuck the system. Throw it on the ground. I like that video. Lonely Island, look it up. <laughs> you owe us money now, that's advertisement. Yep, straight up, bitches. Uh, <laughs> fucked up. I gave endorsements by force. No, let me stop. Alright, so. <laughs> <laughs> point is, when it comes down to it, I'm not happy about Ben Affleck playing Batman, but you know what? I said the same thing about Joker, Heath Ledger brought a big surprise, so I'm hoping what they have, what I like to call the Heath Ledger effect, and uh, Ben Affleck hopefully pulls it off, you know, maybe he'll sell me on it. I'd, I'd really like to see, you know, some uh, concept visuals and, uh, you know, little, little previews here and there of him as Batman before I make a final judgment. But at the end of the day, it's really a Man of Steel 2 film, and they did the last one justice, so I'll give him a chance on this one. 
But, but uh, still, think about this, though. There's a lot of responsibility that's going to be carried on because not only is he going to be Batman in this movie, he's also going to be Batman in the Justice League. From here on out. So, like, really, so he really has to sell this. <laughs> I hope you guys haven't paid him yet. Other than that, I am interested in seeing that uh, Zack Snyder's universe's interpretation of Batman, you know, as far as Batman is concerned. This has been Big Black Guy Reviews. This is my nigga T. You know, we just had to get this off our chest. I was mostly ranting, but... Big T in the house. His house. We're at his... You know, this ain't my house. This is the Batcave. This is the Batcave. Don't you forget it, motherfuckers. Don't forget it. And don't steal my fucking internet. I'm just saying though, Affleck, really? Affleck! I can't do it. I know, man. It's because you love Batman. You passed the test. So this is behind the scenes right now of Devin's podcast. I'm Ben. I'm the cameraman for the night. You're up my memory. It's not you can delete it, everybody. That is Devin changing the fucking light bulb, everybody. I you with a light And there's T. T's on the couch on his phone. And that's all the Batman shit we set up for this cast segment. America! America! Murder. <laughs> I'm gonna call Jody Cochran. I mean, still go Affleck. Seriously, though, Affleck? Affleck! I can't do it. I know, man. It's because you love Batman. You passed the test. This looks different. <laughs> I mean, seriously, though, Affleck? Batman.